All right, so I got this heater to hang in my garage. So this video is about showing you how I installed it. Now I am not an electrician, so any wiring you do needs to be done by your local building codes. And it always helps to just have an electrician do that kind of thing if you're not comfortable with it. But this is just not a how-to, it's how I did it. I'm just showing you how I did it. So I've got it unboxed here. Um, and so it's got a therm built-in thermostat on off switch right here. And then you can set um, your low, medium, high with this switch. And it's got louvers you can kind of point the air where you want to go. Then it's also got a, a bracket uh, for mounting it to the ceiling. And then you can you can have it like this. It's got these three holes for this one so you can tilt it. There's three different positions to have it in. So you can tilt it down if you want. And it also came with some lag screws or lag bolts and a couple washers. Um, but what I'm going to do is, is use a longer lag bolt um, and just put it through the center hole here. And that way I can, I can pivot it and turn it, point it wherever I want the heat to, uh, to blow. All right, so I've got about, I don't know, it's like a three inch lag screw. Uh, I believe it's a three eighths. So I've got just one washer that I'm going to put right here. And then I've got... What, four washers, basically just a sp spacer here, and that way when it's mounted, I can pivot it where I want it. I got my hole pre-drilled here. tight or you won't be able to spin it. There we go. Okay, so we've got to, they've got uh, two cutouts here, um, depending on what kind of, what size of wire or conduit or whatever you're going to run to it. So I'm going to take this one out. take these screws out to take the bottom panel off to access where you make all the wiring connections. There's our connections here. So then what we have is uh, the ground wire of your wiring um, will go here. And then you, it's a 220 unit. So then you've got your, your uh, two leads right there. Okay, now we can hang the heater from the bracket. to tilt it down so I'm going to use the, the middle the middle hole for the, this one there we go 
go. So the next step is to insert the wires into here. Um, what I've got is a flexible conduit. Um, I just got it at Home Depot. It's already got the wires in it. Um, and so these are uh, 10 gauge and I've got a 10, 10 gauge Romex going back to my breaker panel. So like I said, I already did all that. Um, I'll show you how I connected the breaker. Put this in here like this. The reason I use this this conduit is that way I can when I, I pivot it. Of course, I have to move that light, but when I pivot it, it'll uh, it'll move freely with it wherever I point the heater. Okay, so the green the green wire is my ground. So that I'm gonna put around this. And then these two are going to go here. And again, obviously I've got the power off. I'm not going to do this with the power on. All right, so here we've got the, our uh, power all hooked up here to the terminals. And I've got the ground wire to the, the uh, bolt for the ground. And then all that's left now is put the cover back on. And then turn the breaker on and we'll have heat. So for example, here's a 220 30 amp breaker. So you've got one lead into each side and you just put the wire in there and you tighten down the, the screw nice and snug. So it's not going to move around in there. So and that's this breaker here. So we'll go ahead and it's all wired up at the heater. So we'll go ahead and turn this on and check out the heater and see if she works. All right, so the power light is on and this knob here will turn it on. And you can hear it, it's very quiet, which is nice. It doesn't blow real hard. Um, but it works pretty good. I had it on earlier and it, after about an hour, half hour to an hour, my garage warmed up from 50 to about 65. So works pretty good. So thanks for watching. Hope this uh, helps you out. If you've got this, a similar project, like, and subscribe to the channel, uh, for, and we'll be coming out with more videos soon. Thanks a lot.